Ladies and gentlemen of that humble internet, welcome to another episode of what I what I think is the final episode of Ryman's Bizarre Adventures in Kaido Shoujo. I'm going to start feeling emotional. You know that, that that feeling you get when you read a really, really, really good, well-written book and it comes to an end? That was, that's me. Right now. And I've stretched this out over, like, what, five years? Because if, if I wanted to, I, I, I could have... Five years ago... I had some of my friends that was always that, that would occasionally mention Katoa Shoujo, right? And I hear from other different parts of the internet on how out of every other visual novel out there, Kato Shoujo is above all of them. They're S tier. It's God tier. It is the God tier of all visual novels. It's what... It has set the bar for what a lot of other people I feel try to, to reach. And... I decided, you know what, I'll do it. I'll, I'll take a look. My friend Chris, my good my good brother Chris, down in Penn... Uh, uh, look. He was the one that that initially introduced me to this series. And, and, he, and he showed me, I remember, he showed me a little bit of the Lily story. And I was half paying attention. I just remember getting text messages at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning of Chris yelling at me via text, Oh my god, Ryan, they're doing it in the bathtub. <laughs> That's what started this whole thing. And so, after I broke down, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll finally do it. I'll, I'll, I'll see what this hubbubaloo is about. Here we are, all this time later. And I, I, I would start it on Valentine's Day. A, a day that is supposed to be for love. So I thought it was appropriate. And because I wanted to stay with that consistency. It has caused this game, this story. To just stay on with this channel. And I, and I know it's not very popular amongst many of you. Even if you're new here, you're wondering what the hell is this. It held a special place for me. And for all I know, there could be like three or four more hours worth of narrative in this story. But I I'm, I'm making the call. I'm going to finish it all now. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hope that I'm gonna be able to hold, it, keep it together. God, I, people are gonna, people are gonna use these, use these clips as evidence that man, Ryan's such a bitch. Let's look at him break down over, over this story. Of course, that's what I thought the week before that. What that I was a bitch? Was this game being written as I'm making it? And Shizune and Misha's sudden newfound clarity had le had left me feeling a little lost and envious. I thought there was no way I could rest easy at the time. But fortunately, nothing came of my worries. Then before I knew it, there was enough to deal with the school to deal with in school that I even managed to put them all off my mind. And still, everything was fine. I was wrong. 
I seen uh, Sujune Misha carefully hidden vulnerabilities, but they were still strong. Now, we're going to be graduating soon. I've grown so comfortable here that it, it kind of crept up on me. Oh, these lines are hitting different now, man. When it did, I felt sad and didn't want to think about it. So I didn't, not until recently. About a week ago, I started making a list of people I thought I should say goodbye to before graduation. The first rule I laid out for myself was that I would try not to write them down in any kind of special order, like least important to most. Somehow, it ended up like that anyway, even though it also ended up being a shorter list than I expected it to be. Kenji is somewhere in the middle. We're saying goodbye to Kenji, man! I don't know if I can do this! They... They said I would have to graduate eventually. Well, I showed them. I've lived here rent-free for more than long enough. If you take into account the rising cost of land, I think you could say I've won in the end. No, you know what? I did win. Histor history will acknowledge me as the victor. The victor of what? I managed to stay out of sight and slip through the cracks. I beat this system. If you put it that way, it sounds like you just ran away from the system. Sometimes, running is the greatest form. <laughs> <laughs> Running is the greatest form of victory, like in the Olympics. I'm gonna miss this dude. I'm gonna miss this character. Oh my god. I'm too tired to argue with him. Who's he kidding? Everyone knows the, the, the shot put in the best Olympic... The, everyone knows the shot put is the best Olympic event in any case. So what you're basically saying is, you won't miss it? Miss what? School, dummy! No, I told you. This place is too filled with feminists. It's beyond saving. But at least I'll be able to go to get out before it reaches critical mass. I'll only come back, years later, when they build a statue to honor me. <laughs> they... They do the 10 year later reunion thing here? Oh my god. How would I know that? Probably, anyway. I have to start packing now. Take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself, Kenji. He's not the hero we asked for, but he is the hero we need. Could you imagine a four leaf studio? actually managed to pull themselves back together even just briefly to do a 10 year reunion oh oh my heart you should have packed a week ago like I did not that I had much to pack that's not how it goes. You're supposed to do everything in the last minute. Men are better at doing everything at the last minute. The last minute can have more productivity than, than like, the entire week before it. That's how we keep shit fair. <laughs> You'll never understand our manly ways. You... You take care of yourself, too. With a salute. He shoots backwards through the door. I'm saluting right now in case no one could no one could know. Slamming it shut behind him hard enough that the entire dorm probably heard it. I've noticed that a lot of people slam doors here. Maybe it's a local thing. Take care of myself. It's the first time I've heard him say it. Usually he ends our conversation with something like, See ya. 
I'll pay you back later, man. Well, he was a little annoying sometimes. But I'll miss him. I cross him off my list mentally. The list is very short now. And I once again discard the notion of going through it in any kind of order. Like I said, I never had that intention. So I go out to look for Shizune and Misha. I can only think one place it could be. The student council room, of course. Turn the corner. I almost bump into a group of students. For a second, a bitter feeling flashes through me. Since, for all I know, that could have been fatal. It's the new student council. There aren't a lot of them, but a lot uh, more than three. Which is good, since it seems uh, there's enough of them that they can each have their own title. It would have been cool if I could have a, a little desk plaque with my name and title on it. I don't think they do that now. Or ever did, unfortunately. The new student council surrounds me while I'm thinking. If anyone were looking at this from afar, it would be a pretty sinister sight. Maybe they could have uh, finally get. Maybe they could have finally uh, get back to me on calling them the Noosed Council. Uh, all those times, I was just translating for Shizune, but I guess I, I should have been less lazy and more tactful. I regret nothing. I find myself being thanked for everything I've done. I'm being thanked. This should make me happy, considering how often I, I would think to myself that being in the student council was a completely thankless job. It does make me happy, but I can't enjoy it fully. I wonder how many things would have turned out if our student council had grown as large as the one that that set to replace us. Even though they've only got two or three uh, other members, it's enough that they have set roles. I mean, not like us, where Shizune seemed to be the president, but it was that was it. The new, the new council thanking, uh, thanking me gives me a strange feeling. It's like coming back home and seeing that seeing that a tree that you nurtured years before has grown. But I feel like I didn't nurture that tree enough. I wonder what more I could have done. It would likely make Shizune furious that I, I would feel distant from what I did in the student council this way. Or that I imply I didn't do enough. But it's true. I was only following her. So in a way, I also feel like I'm viewing that same tree from far away, as if I'm seeing it from the window of a train as it passes by. I indulge in these thoughts for too long. When I snap out of it, I realize that I'm still standing there, surrounded by the new student council. I do the only thing I can do, and apologize for zoning out. Then, I thank them back. When they walk away, I enter the student council room, which looks a lot messier, but seems to have gained a computer. It makes sense. I recall hearing one of the clipboard girls uh, talk about her plans to use a computer to make all the, the boring data entries Suzuni does more uh, tolerable. I can't remember which one said it, though. Aoi seems to be the more ambitious one, but then again, Kiko appears more serious. Well, it doesn't matter now. I'm not alone in the room, but instead of finding Shizune here like I expected, it's just Misha. She's sitting on Shizune's desk, like Shizune herself often does, swinging her legs back and forth. When our eyes meet, she hops off and inexplicably poses like a superhero. Hi, he Shan! I'm surprised to see you here! What are you doing? You first! I was looking for Shizune. Me too! I thought she would be here, but I got Heeshan instead! Gee, thanks. <laughs> well, this is good. Really, really. I wanted to talk to you anyway. About what? I think it's time to glance around the room a little more. I see a hot plate. They're all really living high. I wanted to say sorry, of course. For all the trouble I made for you and she, Shan. Uh, don't call it trouble. Right, right. Don't apologize to Shizune. <laughs> right, right. But that isn't why I'm here, he, Shan. I wanted, I wouldn't apologize to she, Shan. Since you're here, I want to ask you a question. He, Shan, 
What do you think it would take for Shishan to be happy? World domination, obviously. <laughs> what? No, it, it, uh, let's. Let, it, it, this could possibly be the last wahaha. Let's do it right for Misha. Mm -mm. Superhero pose. <laughs> now that my family probably firmly believes I'm insane. Even though you're joking, he shan. No, even if she could, it wouldn't make she shan happy. Only for a little while. Hey, Shan, have you ever heard of artists who tear up their paintings as soon as they finish them? Such people really exist in the world, you know. I remembered it all of a sudden. It's just like She Shan, now that I think about it. Whenever She Shan sets up a challenge for her shell and completes it, she acts like her skills have no meaning anymore. I wonder, is it because she can't create anything permanent? Is it just like those artists who know they want to create a piece of art to leave behind? A really great one? But can't do it? It's really obvious when I look back at it. But I didn't see it before. Now I'm scared. I wonder if Shishan will ever be happy. Huh. No, I don't think so. I mean, not about her ever being happy. I think you're wrong. Shizune is actually happy more often than I'd thought. I think it's actually kind of amazing. Usually, people don't think about that kind of stuff until they're middle-aged or dying. Then they think, I want to leave something behind, or I want to be remembered. Like me. Only I skipped ahead a little. My life was short, and seemed even shorter after my heart attack. I didn't think about what I was leaving behind, because I was very quickly thought there was almost nothing I was leaving behind. So all that was left was for me to stew in my own bitterness. She certainly already wants to leave her mark somewhere, but she wants to do it by helping people. That's why celebrations are so important to her. She even wants to be a, th a philanthropist. I think it's the best way to live, living on uh, by what you give to others, even if it's for a selfish reason. That's okay, too. Shizune is already happy, because if something goes well, there will always be someone else to see it and remember it. That's what makes her happy. Misha sighs, arms stiffen at her sides, hands tapping the air softly. Before I still thought, hmm, I might be able to make Shishan happy. And I was in a good place to do it before, well, since I was her interpreter. I could always be with her. Maybe. And I, I thought I would do it by becoming like Shishan's shadow. I kept trying even when she rejected me. It felt like I was stuck and, and I couldn't do anything but watch Shishan's back getting smaller while she kept going. I was scared even though I, I, I should have just accepted it. It's hard. Maybe I could have at least understood Shishan. But... It looks like I was completely wrong after all. I didn't even know that or think about it. Shishan would call it a complete loss. Okay, I'm done. That's it, Shan. But, since you're the one who knows Shishan's best of all, you, can, you can't make her cry or I'll be angry. I'm going to go overseas after this. I even have letters of, of recommendation. Or, I, I didn't think I'd be able to normally. Maybe I'll study and became, become a sign language teacher over there? Who knows? That means you have to look after Shishan, okay? Misha smiles and uh, is as honest as ever, but she obviously changed. The look in her eyes is that much more of an attentive girl. It seems to be true that hardship builds wisdom. It reminds me of the look in Shizune's eyes. I wonder what Shizune might have been through to become who she is. I could take a guess, or maybe she was always like that. I want to see her even more, and suggest to Misha that we should look for her together. Of course, it's just a pretext to spend more time with a friend, 
It's strange how it hasn't been uh, long since we last hung out together. The three of us, in a span of a routine student council day. Yet, it seems like it was long ago. Thinking about the future can put that kind of lens over the past. Speaking of lenses... <sighs> Goodbye, Yuko! God damn, you stressed me the fuck out, but... Outside, Yuko is standing around, fiddling with a tiny modern-looking camera in her hands. It would have been un unnoticeable if it weren't metallic enough to reflect the sunlight. Misha calls out to her. I thought we were supposed to be looking for Shizune. Hi, hi! What are you doing? Oh, I, I'm just taking photos of everyone. <laughs> That's obvious. Awkward. Misha, I'll, I'll never forget how you told me that someone can hold so many secrets and still have a massive lack of tact. <laughs> Where's my photo? Y y you want a copy? Oh, I, I, I don't know. Well, only if you promise to keep it a secret. Or else everyone will want one too. That happened to me in elementary school. Only it was with candy. Okay, I'll take a photo of you now, then. <laughs> oh, wait, I I'm not ready. I was just kidding. Hey, Shan, make a peace sign. Misha, I think my body is actually physically unable to throw any kind of symbol that represents peace. I'm not going to do that. Oh, God, I've been flashbanged. The camera goes off. Blinding me. Yuko shields herself behind it, letting out a moan of frustration. You're not supposed to turn the flash on outdoors! She starts apologizing unnecessarily, and then quietly slips away. Ah, wait! I can't fucking see! <laughs> yes? Did you see Shishan around here? Ah, uh, yes, in front of the gate. Are we ending this? Oh my god, is this really the e Is this really it? And is, th is this ending at the school gates where it began season one? Thanks. Oh my god, is, is this is it? That's poetic. Oh my god, that's fucking poetic if this ends at the gates. Where it all began all those years ago. I I I I I I I I can I can barely get out before I, I have to start falling behind Misha. Fortunately, not for very long, the gate is barely a minute's walk from here. Even though uh, that it can be time for for me sometimes, we see Suzune with the student council. They're probably thanking her too. As soon as she sees us, she shoos them away. <laughs> Which is very easy since I doubt any of them can understand sign language or use it. So they're not too sad about leaving. Which in turn makes me wonder why they would thank her without someone who can. But, you know, it's the thought that counts. Misha immediately hugs Shizune and then leans against the gate next to her. I, on the other hand... Decide to hang back a little and let them talk. After a while, after all, Misha wanted to talk to Suzune this whole time. I can wait. I even turn away so I don't eavesdrop on their conversation. I end up losing track of the time. When I look at my watch, it's already been ten minutes. I wonder if they're done and turn around to find them behind me. What are <clears throat> what are you thinking about? The boring philosophical things that I don't want to talk about. Uh, uh, don't don't worry. I'm I'm not thinking about it too hard. Good. Getting philosophical at a time like this would be the worst thing you could do. Yeah, I, I just want to stand here for a bit. It's relaxing. <laughs> it was a busy week. N not really. Not for me. 
I know they must have been busy, but but I I, I think I know what I want to do now. When when and when it hit me, I, I didn't feel particularly fired up or anxious. It was the opposite. I feel at peace for the first time in a long time, and I want to savor that feeling a little more. I think that I want to teach here. Oh, it's like in one of the other seasons where he wanted to teach science! I'm not upset, you're upset. Don't dry your eyes, you wet eyes having bitch, it's too late. As soon as I thought this, a long, winding road appeared in my mind. An uncertain road that leads back here. I wonder if I'll be able to meet someone in the future like me. Someone filled with bitterness. I want to talk to that person, since I can't talk to myself. I want to tell them that life is too short. Something that couldn't be told to me, only shown. I want to do it without pity. If I had been pitied, I'm sure that I would have only died a little more. When I think about that first week, I still think about how well it went. So well that it could only be called the result of kindness. I feel like I want to show others the same kindness. I also want to keep chasing Shizune. What did the new student council want, Shishan? It's hard to daydream when you have to deal with Misha's voice. I didn't know they had someone who knew sign language. They don't. I think it was most likely just a goodbye, so I appreciate it, even though I couldn't tell them. How did you know I was here? It was supposed to be a secret? Anyway, I just asked Yuko. Did she take a photo of you too? Yes, without asking me first. Since Yuko doing anything spur of the moments is rare though, I'll let it go. She snaps her fingers, more because I think she likes it, than a realization of an idea. We should take a photo of the three of us. We haven't taken a student council photo yet, now's the perfect chance. But, if I have to look at this picture for a year from now, I don't want a staring back at me. Hmm? What does that mean, Shishan? I think that means she wants us to action pose. Pictures are supposed to capture the moment, isn't that right? Well, that some say it's also used to capture souls, but that's that you know, that's a different thing, I think. Without a doubt, they're not portraits. Just standing around would be so stiff. It wouldn't even capture how I feel. I feel like we'll meet again. <laughs> so, so this isn't an occasion to take such a serious photo. It should be seen as a see you later type of photo. Not a big deal. It should be something more festive. Oh boy! Like this. Follow me. <laughs> what? Shizune poses like a musketeer so quickly that I'm sure she knows it's silly. <laughs> do we really have to do such a cheesy pose? I can think of no better pose. Misha, go find Yuko. I don't like this pose either, but I think it's kind of nice. That doesn't even make sense! I don't like this pose, but I like it! <laughs> She's already gone! And returns dragging Yuko behind her. The flash is off. A red LED blinks three times above it after Yuko's finger presses the button. Shizune glances at both of us to make sure we have the timing down. Synchronize watches. We jump.
in front of that damn gate. In front of that goddamn gate. I bet that turned out excellently. Okay. Now, now let's do one with Yuko too. N no, 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 please. That's not necessary. I want a copy of this photo too. <gasps> oh no! I'll likely die younger than the average person. My life could unexpectedly burn out at any time. I don't have any time to waste then. I want to live as much as possible. I also want to see other people smile from what I've made and done. I feel like that's all I want too, dog. My YouTube shit's not going anywhere, you know what I mean? I don't even think I'm ever gonna break like 800 subscribers. And the subscribers that I have, I think 90% of them are random YouTube bots. But... I, I have a job. And I like my job. I don't have to worry about that. I remember... Oh my god, I remember... Well, over five years ago. I said to myself before I uploaded my first official video... Oh my god, what was it? Oh my god, it was something for heroes and generals. That was the first... I had some other weird-ass stuff, like a, a, like a Dark Souls stream, but that, that was just nothing. That was just... Or, or one other th video, that was, it was just nothing, right? I, I remember then, it was a Heroes and Generals video. All those years ago, and I said to myself, before I, I even hit record... Ryan... You're gonna be a no one. It's not gonna go anywhere. This YouTube... Th this content creating thing, I mean. But if you can just make one person out there in the world smile, for whatever reason, whether it's because they actually thought the, the content was funny, or it hit them real hard and deep somewhere in their soul, or because they thought it was crap and they were just laughing at how bad it was. You succeeded in being an entertainer. I want to live as much as possible. I also want to see other people smile from what I've made and done. Living vicariously through the happiness of others doesn't seem so bad. Feeling joy through other person's happiness doesn't seem like such a bad thing. It's the easiest way I can think of to draw out my own life and give it distinction. Maybe this is the meaning that Shizune has found for herself. Although it's just my theory. People find themselves alone often in their lives, and without direction. However, people can take refuge in moments of happiness. They can dot a person's life like stops at a train station, or waypoints of a memory on a long trail. These individual moments, on reflection, can give a person's life fulfillment. Every friend, and festival, and joyful meeting, and joyful parting. I want to be able to ask Shizune one day if I'm right. I want to spend the time I have with her. Finally, I want to make Shizune smile for herself. Oh, my boy. I love you. I pause, wondering if she'll look at me, confused, and ask why I say it out of the blue. She doesn't. Do, th do they do that reunion thing here? They do! Of course they do. Now... 
This... I'm so happy I did the Shizune route last. I'm so happy that's how it turned out. Cause this hit, this hits, this hits hard. And this would not hit as hard as if I say did this at the end of only season two. Or one. Or even four. You know what I mean? A student council member should know that. Sooner than that, though, okay? Both of you. Right? Yeah. Yuko, you do the pose, too. Afterwards, we can go for tea. Shizune laughs, as if she doesn't have a care in the world. Misha's laugh uh, laughter joining with hers is easily as if it was her own. We'll meet again. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not cry I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Fuck you, Anonymous 22. Aura, CPL, Crud, Zuruko, the hate, the hive mind. I'm not gonna do it. Parmi kind of wants the credits to go on a little bit longer. But in terms of this channel, I will look back on Katoa Shoujo as a happy, joyous waypoint on this journey of mine. Based on that particular ending, I can understand why so many people are heartbroken that Four Leaf Studios isn't really a thing anymore. Ladies and gentlemen of that humble internet, I want to thank you to the few individuals who have been here since the very start of this journey. And just like the message at the end, the friendships aren't going anywhere. So to Emmy, to Rin, to Lily, Shizune, to Misha, to Kenji, the nurse, Hanako, and our boy Hisao. All and all you awesome, awesome people out there. We will meet again in a new adventure. Thank you again for spending your time here with me in this bizarre adventure. I, I, I sound like I'm a broken record, but I have to hit that record button. I have to stop. I can't be sad that it's over. I'm happy it happened. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Remember to stay awesome out there. Adios.